The situation on the ground remains fragile, and the threat of a return to famine conditions, a real one. Part of Somalia's story is, is a, a success, but as ever in a country like Somalia, success is limited. The fact that we managed to reduce the number of people actually classified in famine did not mean that there was no crisis, and I think that's the second point that needs to be very clearly understood. Funding requirements for 2011 are at 80%, allowing for food aid to almost 3 million people and crucial nourishment reaching 500,000 children. Part of the solution lies in program design. Some of it uh, does rely on a better acceptance by all parties uh, of the humanitarian imperative in Somalia. And one of my concerns about the situation is the fragility that we have. Increased fighting, uh, incursions and other things tend to increase the levels of concern about any international activity, including humanitarian activity. With calls just days ago for the Security Council to bolster the AU force in the country. Amazon is currently authorized to have 12,000 troops on the ground. AU officials want that number increased to 17,000 so that security gains made in recent months are not lost. Diplomats here say cost and who foots the bill is a major concern and will require serious discussion before any authorized increase will be agreed to by the Security Council. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.